Hey, what's up out there, world? Ladies, how y'all doing? My name is Dre Rob, R&B singer from Peoria, Illinois. Here's my album right here, Grown, and you are listening and watching the Talking With Todd show. Welcome to another interview and a special edition of the Talk with Todd show right here in St. Louis. Man, we had the DJ United, uh, United Conference. All right, log on today to the official website at talkwithtides.com for this interview and more. And right now we're sitting here. And actually, that's Dre Rob. I'm from uh, Peoria, Illinois. You said Chi-Town. <laughs> no, I said the city. That's, no, Peoria is about two and a half hours away. Yeah. Well, I mean, Peoria, <laughs> Illinois, if, if, yeah. it's, if it's in the noise, yeah. it is Chi-Rag. Now, they may got less crime out there in Peoria. But it's about up there. <laughs> yeah, it's about up well, there. There we go. It's Home, hometown Richard Pryor. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, you're, you're, you're R&B, okay? So my favorite R&B singers is Usher uh, or Kelly. And I can't really get with the new stuff, okay? Because I'm from a different era and time period in life. What has changed, in your opinion, with R&B? And what are you going to bring to kind of rejuvenate what's been lost? Well, I think I think majority what's changed with R&B is that you still got the R&B singers out there, but they sing it more over the pop tracks now. You see what I'm saying? And now what's happening, R&B is getting watered down to where everybody's thinking like them, uh, no disrespect, but that Miley Cyrus and Katy Perry, everybody thinking that's R&B now, when it's really not. And that, and it's getting watered down. Yeah. So what is, what is Dre Rob bringing to the table? I'm, I'm bringing more of a like a soul sound to the table, more live instruments, you know, more of what you used to listen back to it, back in the 90s, kind of like that Jodeci type, you know, back in the R. Kelly type of days, kind of like the Donny Hathaway, kind of stuff like that. But, you know, I'm, I'm keeping it up to date, though. That's how, that was my next point. With, with that, you know you're going against the grain of what traditionally what they're, what they're pushing right now, what radio what radio's pushing, what people listen to. So how are you going to be able to... You know what I mean? Work your way around that by still giving them what you want them to have. Well, man, it's all about, you know, the, the marketing process and, you know, reaching that crowd who really is missing that because there, there is a crowd out there that's missing that real R&B, who don't like the new R&B that's, that's out there. And I just, I just, with that, I just want to stay true to the music that I love and the music that I do because I feel regardless of if you are, if you try, if you're in it for the money, I mean, I think you really need to do it for the love. You get more satisfaction that way. Right. So what is your background? I mean, um, you said you come from Peoria, Illinois. Um, and that's the home of a lot of successful artists. Yeah. So what, what inspired you to get it off into singing? I know everybody started out of gospel. Oh, yeah, everybody yeah, started yeah. in church, you know what I mean? So, yeah. um, but what inspired you to want to take the R&B road? Well, really, well, really, like you said, everybody started off with gospel, man. And, and actually, that's where I kind of started off at. You know, in church, what, what inspired me was... You know, actually, a group of my cousins, they was they were starting a little church group, man, and and it was like, okay, but what we would do, we would take the hip hop and R&B songs, turn them into gospel songs. So, I mean, it, it it was crazy how we first, yeah, it was crazy and creative how we first did it, but then as we got, I, then that's when I found out I could sing because I really didn't know I could sing. Yeah. Let me let me let me let me stop you let me stop you there because I see Mary Mary kind of struggle with this when, when they had a song I, and I, excuse me for not remembering this but they had a song where they did the music video they were in street clothes and they had the bandanas on and people were criticizing them basically saying how are you going to be Christian and you you dress like this and you know do you find has anybody criticized you for starting off in gospel but now switching over to R&B which do, has anybody had an issue with that uh, yeah uh, some people have you know which I, I can't lie about it you know it's like you know, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I'm a grown man. You know, I, I know where I, I know where my roots come from. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's just a decision I made. I still sing gospel. You know, I'll sing because that's where I started off. You know, I love the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, I mean, you, you gonna get that. Uh, they criticize Jesus, man. So you know what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. They they criticize Jesus. So. Now let's. I'm gonna switch gears. I'm gonna come back to the music. I want to talk about your uh, your new album, but I want to talk about Shot Town, man. And we already know, you know, the murder rate is, is murder rate is crazy. 
um, what do you think is causing the increase in violence and, and murder, and what do you think they can do to kind of reduce You're never going to stop it, but what can you do to at least calm it down and reduce it a little bit? Well, well like I say, I'm, you know, I'm from Peoria, really, so the, you know, Chi-Town uh, Chi is like... You are going to accept yeah. this Chi-Town that we're yeah. trying to give you yeah. right there. <laughs> now, but, but go ahead. Right. But, but Chi-Town is like my second home. You know, I, lo I love the city. But really, I think it's just like they're not really paying attention. The kids aren't being raised how they should now. You know, a lot of that comes with the with the parenting because I believe if if you stay on your children and put instill in them the right things they should do as a, as kids and as adults as they're growing up if you raise them the right way I mean I I don't think that it'll, the crime will be as bad I mean you still gonna have your knuckleheads you still gonna have that regardless but if I think it all starts with the with the parenting man all right man that's just keeping it 100 from me you know because that's how it is in in Peoria it, a lot you see the kids on the streets all times of the night. And those are those are the ones starting off with the little petty crime, trying to get the attention in the streets that they're not getting at home. Right. Dre Rod, right here on the Talk with Todd Show. We're down here, down here in St. Louis at the DJ's United Conference. Now, let's talk this new album. Tell me about the new album. Well, the new album's called Grown. You can get it on iTunes, you know, things like that. I just tried to bring back that soul for R&B, man, that everybody was missing, man. So what's some of your favorite songs? Because I haven't had a chance to listen to it yet. We're just meeting down there. Um, so what are some of your favorite? What do you think the ladies? What is what is the one song on that CD that they think the ladies are going to really gravitate to and love? Well, there, there's a couple. There's one called Ten Ways. Oh, snap. Yeah, yeah. See, see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, nice nation. Yeah, there's one called Ten Ways. It's a real serious bedroom song. And then uh, my single I came out was called Sexy Angel. It's really, it's really talking about a woman in a heavenly way. You know what I'm saying? And uh, my other one is called The Reason. It's a, it's a relationship song. Uh, accent, you know, talking about a man and a woman's relationship. Why would I cheat on you? Why would you cheat on me? Just just going deep into it, man. They're talk, actually talking about subjects. That's right. why it's called grown. Now, for all you ladies, I'm going to get this next bit of information for you. Uh, so you can go buy the CD and maybe it'll help your relationships and or marriage. Um, Get your Twitter and your Instagram. I know everybody, everybody got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Twitter is uh, Dr at DreRob23, and also Instagram is at DreRob. All right. Now, is there anything that you would like the fans to know about Grown or if anything you want to hey, you know what? Now, nah, scratch all that. I'm going to put you on the spot, man. You're going you're gonna to have to get a legs four bars, at least four, something. Matter of fact, from that Ten Ways. Ten ways. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. I'm ten Ways, he going to step out the way. First thing I do to you, make your body weak, that healing baby, in between the sheets, my body's calling me, your body's calling you, neighbors know my name from all them screams you do, let me taste your tongue, baby are you with it, baby won't you open up so I can get it, every day and night, Got me fiending baby, when them juices flow, simply drives me crazy. How you like that, man? That's good. <laughs> All right, that's Dre Rob right here on the Talk With Ty Show for the exclusive songs called Ten Ways. Go to iTunes, look up the album called Grown, find that song, and I'm pretty sure it's for you ladies, so I'm pretty sure, you, you know, you, he'll, 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 he just broke down a little bit about what the song is, you know, what the song is about. So is there anything else that you would like the, uh, the, the fans to know about Dre Rob, either this album or just as you as an artist? Uh, just stay true to yourself. Just stay true to yourself, and I love everybody. All right, right there. We'll be right back on the Talk with Todd show.